<laughs> Our next guest encourages everyone to love their body no matter the shape or size. In her debut, debut book, Everybody Yoga, Jessamine Stanley tackles topics such as fat shaming, body image, and unattainable beauty standards. Jessamine is here now to share some of your stories. You got a big event coming up later on today, too. I do. It's um, allegedly sold out, but they're definitely going to seat people yeah. at capacity. I'm just glad that there are so many people that are willing to have this conversation and who want to see yoga spread to more people. Why are you doing this? Why did you start this? So I started practicing because I was in a very severe period of depression. It's something that it wasn't the first time certainly won't be the last time and one of my classmates I was in graduate school one of my classmates was like oh my god try yoga you'll love it and I was not into it because I tried yoga once when I was in high school I hated it I was like this is not for me but she wore me down I went and I loved it it totally changed my perspective of the way that I was attacking life it I made me recognize just how many times I say I can't do it I can't do it I'm not worth it I'm not and it, it opens up this larger conversation about who you really are and that's something that I find myself still digging into to this day so that to me I'm really just living in my own yoga practice trying oh. to let it evolve over time and it's I've been very lucky to have other people who are like I want to do that too and mm -hmm. so then they are also living their practices as well in this book I love it that you have um, you know different examples of different types of yoga you show the different poses but I gotta tell you for a yogi it's very spicy it is very spicy it's <laughs> yeah that's yeah it's very it's it's grown up. Yeah. I mean for yoga well because yeah. and this is the thing I think that in the West we see yoga as being this like very it's like namaste so beautiful love and happiness rainbows you know and that's not what yoga is yoga is about the light and the dark it's about the truth it's about authenticity it's about accepting that which that which is even when that which is is not great and so in the book I talk about a lot of controversial things that have happened in my own life and there's no way to talk about those things in my personal opinion without using some four-letter words uh -huh. and uh -huh. and in my mind I think that um, that's just kind of I think that people fear profanity because we live in a puritanical society but that as we move away from that as we start to accept that these are words with definitions just like <laughs> anything else I hope that over over time, it'll be like, oh, that book isn't that. It's not that yeah, spicy. No, but it really isn't. By <laughs> comparison, really but by comparison really to other yoga books, yeah. All right. So, so uh, do we have some time? Can we do something? Can we do some? Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. I gotta admit to you. Yeah. I can't go to yoga because I can't be around other people's sweaty. Feet. Don't say I can't. Don't say I can't. <laughs> I can't be around I people's sweaty feet. Who, <laughs> Are you like you see you see sweaty feet and you're like I'm not it. trying to do this. I can't. You should do it at home. Look at him. You gotta do it at home. First of all, your feet get sweaty, and so you gotta get you gotta get used to your sweaty feet. Okay. Your, your feet don't sweat. Sweat. All right, well, let's no just do something. No sweaty feet. Inhale your arms up and overhead. Use the inhale to really get up here and interlace your fingers together. Drop everything but the thumb and the index. And then just kind of rock side to side. Like drop over to the left a little bit. Drop over to the right. Nice. Beautiful. Try to straighten out through the elbows and then relax the shoulders. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's where you got to loosen Good. that up. Sometimes you just got to make space for yourself. Right. Yeah. I need awesome. space. And then allow the arms to drop down. Let's just take a little twist. So we're going to bring the arms over to the right hand side and then look behind you. And so you're really looking oh, behind oh. you, not just like, oh, yeah, I'm turning my body. No, <laughs> look behind you, sit oh. up nice and tall, feel like your sits bones are pressing into the ground. Oh. Relax that shoulder back, one more breath like that. Oh. Now let's come back through center, take your time, and then use that momentum to go over to the other side. So you go on over to the left. This you good. look, really look, gaze, hello, <laughs> hi guys. Just breathe, <laughs> sit up nice and tall, press into the sits bones. One more breath like this, and then come back through center. Walk it back, walk it back. You just did yoga. No I feel better already. Yoga. No joke. I mean, <laughs> yeah, right? that's a good. And you can well, do I this like at home, at the office, anywhere. Yeah. I love it. Fantastic. Yeah. Justin, thank All you so much. North Carolina. Thank okay. you. From North Carolina. So at Central Library yes. tonight, come on out, 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. Come see y'all there. Doing yoga? Might be a little past our bedtime yeah. set. <laughs> no, really. We get up at like 2.45. Oh I, I don't even want to know that way. I know, anyway, right? I'm so happy Thank to you. be here with y'all. Thank, Thank you so, so much. You. Such a pleasure. I'm so Continue jealous success. that you got to wear yoga pants today. <laughs> <laughs> I do what I can. Time right. now is 9.39 on this.